Hi friends, today I am going to show you how to extend the client period of Windows Sound System. The tutorial which I am going to show you will also imply for both Windows 8 machines and also for Windows Server Series 2. But what you need to have is this machine which you are going to extend the trial period should not be activated with any other license key or also with any other softwares the evaluation period should be a minimum of about zero days to do this activity so now we can go for the process of how to do now I'm going so here you can see that this copy of Windows is not genuine. Since I am not activated this Windows Sound system, it was showing that the copy of Windows is not genuine, and it was a Windows 7 machine build sound 600. So now I am going to go to command prompt. So you need to run this command prompt with the highest privileges. So I am going to run this as administrator. I'll just give us. And here I am going to enter the command SLRMG on. Just going to check the help first. Sorry, SLMG on. SLMG on. Go to the help. Here you can see Windows Server Licensing Management Tool and more things will be given here. Just give OK. And here, and here you can see a ROM option that is resetting the license status of the machine. This is the switch we are going to use today. Now, and just give OK and give OK and give OK. Default, if you want, you can check in detail. So, SLMGR slash REAR. So if you hit the enter, so what is the problem here is I have already ran this command, so I need to restart the system before. Before running this command, so just check the system properties here. So it is not still showing any status of the Windows activation. Since I have already ran this command, it was showing this kind of error. So I'll just reboot the system now. So I'll just give ASCII later and give OK. I'll just give the system properties and I'll check the status here. We see here it is showing 30 days to activate. So let's run and see the and again what was the error it was showing so 
so slmgr slash home just run the command and command computer successfully pc that's the system for the changes to take out so if you run this command this is the window which will get opened i'll just restart my system again and can see before that i will show you what is the status you see here it is showing that the status is not available and the product driving key was also not available I'll again restart the system I'm just going to the system properties. So if you see here again, it just came. That's it. Just like So this is how you are going to rearm the Windows 7 trial period from zero to thirty days. And just now I have shown you. So how to rearm this Windows 7 evaluation period from 0 to 30 days in Windows 7 operating system. And in my next video, I will show you how to rearm this licensing that is evaluation period in Windows Server 2012 operating system. Um, thank you for watching the video.